Hey guys, welcome back. This week's weekly review. I'm trying to quit smoking. So I bought one of these. Uh, it's helping. Over the last three days, I've only had like four or five cigarettes a day, which is really good because I was like a pack, pack and a half, man. It was getting crazy. So I bought one of these. It's, uh, it's working good. It's a little rougher than spokes, man. Seriously. But but it's it's helping uh, quite a bit. So wish me luck. Cause I fucking don't want to smoke anymore. I wish I never started, but I'm at that borderline age that they when they first started. I mean, you always knew it was bad for you. Everybody knew it was bad for you, but you didn't. The general public didn't really know. Doctors and stuff didn't. They tried to tell us, but then. Just around when I started smoking is when they really, a couple of years later, they really started fucking hitting on the, how bad it is for you and shit and how addictive it is. And But I'm working on it. I've tried a few other things and I managed to quit one time for about a year. And some of my father says, though, he says, you never really quit smoking. <laughs> you just kind of don't smoke for a long time. <laughs> so I'll never stop trying to quit. Uh, hoping each time I try, it'll be the long one, you know? So, anyway. <clears throat> wish me luck. How's everybody doing? How was your week? Weekend's coming to an end. How was your weekend? Uh, I'm putting this out late Saturday night, because tomorrow I'm going to uh, flea market and farmer's market and everything so i don't know if i'll have time to do the video so uh i do it tonight it's only one day uh still gonna wear the same thing tomorrow because it worked really good this week i knew it would it's just that kind of scent and it's cheap very cheap very cheap man like cheap in price, not in quality. It's pretty pretty good quality for what it is. So yeah. Well, let's get into it. What is it? It's by Avon. Yes, Avon. Avon Musk Plus Fire. Eau de Toilettes. A blazing scent intensified with vibrant basil, spicy cardamom, and refined sandalwood. It is fucking a sexy scent. I'm not just saying that. The bottle, not so much. <laughs> bottle, just a standard little Avon bottle. I think they only come in 75 mils. Uh, I went on the Avon store to buy a couple more. I already have a couple of them. And they weren't available on the Avon store. I don't know if they're discontinued or not. Uh, sorry if they are. But I got mine from an Avon lady. Uh, five or six months ago now. For $10. So. Uh, if it is discontinued. I'm sorry guys. It's hard to get. But if you can get it. Get your hands on it. It's really good. Uh, good spray. Ooh, I love that stuff. <sighs> All right, let's let the head burn off and I'll... Avon Musk Plus Fire. Released in 2011, classified as an Oriental Spicy. Accords are fresh spicy, musky, warm spicy, aromatic, green. Uh, not a lot of notes, and there's a couple in there that's not listed here, but I'll, I'll, I think are in it, but I'll get to it. Uh, top notes are bergamot and basil. Mid is cardamom pepper. And base is musk. Off the top, you get the 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 bergamot and the basil. It's it's a very herbal citrus type feel. Right off the top, very very herbal, very citrus. I'm loving this thing though. 
I can smoke in the house. <laughs> uh, very herbal, very citrusy. Uh, and that lasts, actually for a top, lasts probably about 40, 50 minutes. Like, it, it lasts quite a long time for... It's a, it's I don't know if it's a high concentration of a bergamot or but that citrus one of the few the citrus lasts more than a half hour you know what I mean uh, and the basil it's, it gives it a spicy herbaceous feel uh, you can smell right off the top too uh, they don't have it listed but there's lavender and iris in this i don't care what anyone says you can smell it it, it has that waxy somewhat makeup -y vibe to it right off the top uh and that lasts pretty much the whole scent uh and about an hour i really pick up on the cardamom it comes in, and it's cardamom done right. Very slightly sweet, slightly spicy, nutty, sensual, creamy almost cardamom with that iris and lavender. Uh, I don't get much pepper from it. Could be in there. You might pick it up better than I am, but... I don't get a lot of pepper from it. I do get a lot of musk. This is very, I want to, if I had to classify it, a very a, a modern take on a classic sensual musk cologne. You know what I mean? Like something from the, I want to say from the 70s, but I, I, people say that and they start thinking barbershops. No, the, the classic musk aftershaves of the 70s. Uh, Jovan. Uh, Jovan. <laughs> Jovan. <laughs> you know, that kind of musk. A uh, very vibrant. Not, it's not a white musk. It's a, it's a vibrant. Uh, I don't want to say heavy or pungent, but really animalistic almost musk. And... Uh, Combined with that fuck, that cardamom and that iris. I went to the store today, shoppers. Because uh, this reminds me, personally, it may not you, but it reminds me of something. Two colognes. I have one, I don't have the other. That's why I went to shoppers today. Uh, I wanted to spray it to make sure it wasn't just something I was making up. You know what I mean? And, uh. Very similar. I should say very similar, like it's a clone. It's not even close. Uh, it just falls in the same vein, the same family as these two. Your home and Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Lome. I have La Nuit de Lome, and that would be the cardamom in it with the La Nuit de Lome, kind of giving it that, it's kind of got that same cardamom as La Nuit de Lome does. That, like I said, just sexy, sensual, nutty, slightly sweet, a little spicy, creamy, heavy cardamom. Uh, combined with that musk is really, really nice. Um, really nice. And then that makeup y waxy, makeup y vibe you get from Dior Ohm. Uh, very much so. I am not even joking. If you like Dior Ohm, it's more close to Dior Ohm than it is YSL, but it's still got that YSL cardamom note, you know what I mean? But it's very close to Dior, to Dior Ohm with that. Although they don't list an iris and a lavender in this, it's in there. It has to be. There's no way around it. It has to be in there. <laughs> um, so if you like Dior Ohm, especially, and you're looking for something that's a little different, because it is different. Like I said, it, it, it's got that feel to it, but it's not even close to being a clone. It's just got that sensual, 
somewhat makeup-y vibe, waxy. And I know that's going to put a few people off. Like, hmm, trust me, try it. Because mixed with the, the, the sweet and spicy cardamom and the animalistic musk, this is a winner. I don't say this often. Compliments monster. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I know it sounds funny because it's Avon and you don't think about it. But when you take two of the best, most complimented colognes in YSL and your own, kind of interbreed the two and then throw your own little twist on it with a nice animalistic musk. And uh, some oak moss, too, is in this. You know, it really, really... <clears throat> oh, yeah. This is a night out scent. Uh, I wore it all week. Luckily, spring around here is still a little cold. So, because I... I can't... I hate saying shit like this, but I don't know if you should rock this in the summer. She's She's heavy, spicy sensual sense you know what i mean they, they don't work too well in the summer uh i shouldn't say they don't work too well they tend to work too well <laughs> you know like they tend to overpower and sometimes even change with the chemistry of the heat and uh but you wear what you want like i said just go a little easier on the trigger if you're wearing it in hot summer weather uh there's other ones better for that though but if you're going on a date even in a summer night a spray or two of this, fall, winter, spring, spray or two of this. Uh, I hate to say it because I'm going to sound like one of them guys I hate, but tons of compliments. This one got me like two or three a day for a week, almost a week. I mean, tomorrow would be a week. And that's no joke. No joke at all. Uh, age ranges completely. My young niece. 15, all the way up to a girl at work who's almost 60. And everyone in between. Uh, it's just that type of scent, guys. It's just, you know, it, it's, it's, and unsolicited, like 80% of them. Like, just like, literally, like, I've, I got a lot this week. Is like, What are you wearing? That's, that is gorgeous. That is nice. That is, no joke. Don't say it a lot. So you know when I do, boom. Now maybe it's just my skin chemistry and it works like the bomb on me. You may hate it. It may not work for you. That's the story of the fragrance game though. Just because something works for somebody don't mean it's going to work for somebody else. But give this one a shot. It's cheap as balls. 10 bucks. I don't know if it's discontinued. Contact an Avon rep though because I couldn't find it on their website. So contact. It may be there now. So if it is, cool. Get it. I have a contact an Avon rep. See if they can get you a bottle of this. Uh, I'd recommend picking it up. I don't recommend a lot of pickups, especially blind buy, but I think I'll recommend this one. Uh, give it a shot. I mean, if you don't like it, you can always blame me. I don't care. <laughs> but I think you will. If you like, if you're looking for something a little musky, spicy, sweety. Just, just the word I keep thinking of is sensual. Very and masculine. Very masculine, very sensual. I know I said it smells, it's got a lipstick vibe, but it doesn't smell like a woman's lipstick or a woman's makeup bag or anything like that. It is very, very masculine. Um, I can't see too many women pulling this off, but again, you wear what you want. I'm not judging. You're a chick, you want to wear it? Hell, maybe it smell. I love the smell of it, so maybe I'd love it. You know, maybe it's maybe it's like a Ventus boxer dropper. <laughs> no, a lot of compliments this week from this one. It actually caught me by surprise. I figured I'd get some because of the type of scent it was. But yeah, more than I, I think more than I've gotten with anything. That's including Sauvage. So performance pretty good for ten dollar Avon. I got about six hours out of it, projected for about two, and solidly for a good one. You know, not quite beast mode, like I say, but out there a couple feet. Um, and then still projected for another hour, like I said, about a foot, foot and a half away. She, she's, she was potent. Uh, 
And it does become a skin center around the four hour mark. But with a scent like this, that's kind of what you want. Uh, you want them to kind of just get a little waff of it. If I say you're out on a date and the person you're with gets a little waff of it, they want to get a little closer to give you a, you know, that's what you want with a scent like this. That's what they're perfect for. It's what they call a date night. You know what I mean? A date night scent where the person, it's not going to overpower them. They want to get in a little closer. So I will put this in the same vein as those date night scents. Your own, definitely YSL, uh, Dolce Cabana, the one, those classic scents that this is in that same vein as those scents. It, it really is. I'm, I just, I work so well on me. I'm pretty sure it'll work well on some of you. Maybe not all of you. Don't nail me lacrosse, but don't work for you. If you don't like it, sorry. But I think for the majority of you, you're going to like it. If you like Dior Ohm. Like I said, it's like they took Dior Ohm and Lanawita Loam and, and Joe Van Musk and mixed them together and then give it a little bit of a green vibe to it with the bay, the herbal vibe with the basil and a green vibe with a some oak moss, and I think a little vetifers in there too, and they kind of just mixed it together, and fucking said, here you go, try this, and it just works, it really does, it just works, there's no, I just, I wish I could tell you more about it, other than it just works, trust me, if you have an Avon rep, or you know an Avon lady, or guy, I guess, I'm sorry, just, I grew up when it was Avon ladies, I'm sorry, uh, an Avon rep, Get it. Get them to get your bottle of it. It's like 10 bucks. It don't cost much at all. And I think you really... <laughs> like I said, it's one of the few that I recommend a blind buy. Musk Fire. Plus Fire, I guess. Whew, is that nice? That is fucking nice. Uh, so yeah, guys, that was this week. Oh, Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. When you're all alone. Now I'm going to go watch the cartoon. Remember that cartoon from the 80s? The real Ghostbusters? Not the one with the gorilla. That one fucking sucked. I don't know what it was. But that sucked. But the real Ghostbusters with Slimer and shit. That one was that one was pimp, man. That one was the shit. I love that movie. And that cartoon. Uh, I even liked the second one. I know a lot of people trash the second one. I liked it. It's like a lot of people trash Predator 2. I liked it. I liked it a lot, actually. I thought it was great. I still do. I just watched it the other day. <laughs> Although, the best one-liners were in Predator. Jesse Ventura, the body. Rrr, the body. <laughs> You're bleeding. Ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> yeah, we talked about sexual Tyrannosaurus. That should be a cologne, goddammit. <laughs> sexual Tyrannosaurus by Jesse the body. I would buy that, and so would you. <laughs> Jesse, if you're listening, do it, man. Sexual Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> anyway, just a little fun there. Uh, yeah, let's see what next week is. It's, it's going to be Clone Week. Get out the list. What do we got here? Oh, flip it over. Wrong side. Where did I end off? Last one was, yes, Euphoria. Ah. Uh. Charming Blue, a clone of Blue Day Chanel. I think that's a watermark beauty one, so don't expect too much. I'm not a big fan of Blue Day Chanel anyway. Don't dislike it, just not. I didn't I didn't go nuts for it like everybody else did. Uh, I thought it was done. I gave it props because it was kind of gave birth to the one of my favorites, which is Sauvage, but Blue Day Chanel just never did it for me. But I'm going to wear it all week. Maybe it'll be nice out. It's a nice, warm, warmer spring scent, so maybe it'll be nice out. And maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be bad. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, blind buy. Trust me. Boom. Musk fire. Remember that. Whew, fuck, that's some good shit. Uh, modern take on a classic 
Oriental musk. That's the best way I can put it. You've got to like iris and cardamom, though. If you don't, don't bother. <laughs> um, still working on, I haven't forgot or, or anything about the giveaway. I'm trying to figure out a way to do it so I can do one for provincial Canada and one for continental USA. Uh, it's real hard for, for me to mail stuff to continental USA from Canada, but I think I've got, it won't be anything special, but I think I've got a couple of, uh, you know, I'm little like wet nap samples. I could probably put them in a an envelope and they'd be none the wiser. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to try to figure something out. But I promise uh, in the next few weeks, I'll figure something out. And yeah, when I put a post, I'll post a video of it so you'll know what to do uh, and all that stuff. Uh, just as a thank you. Uh, I'll get into it in the video, but thank you, everybody. Um, the giveaway is coming, I promise. It's not going to be anything special. Like I said, well, it's special because I'm giving it away, but it's just going to be a couple samples, and uh, but it'll be free. Um, I, I just want to thank you all. Uh, going through some life changes lately and this is helping me a lot uh i really like the community um although there's some dicks in it dicks everywhere can't none about it but most people are good and i ignore the dicks so <laughs> i don't care uh, but yeah uh, i'm working on the uh top 10 winter preferred my top 10 not yours so don't get pissed off if yours isn't on there um hopefully getting that out again Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whenever I get a little time, finish it up. It's almost finished, so I'll have it definitely finished by Tuesday. Maybe I'll get it out by then, maybe not. But it'll be between Tuesday and Thursday, I'll get it out. Unless something drastic happens with work or anything, but which can happen. So if it doesn't get out then, don't freak out. It is coming. <laughs> uh, yeah, so thank you guys. Uh, I don't beg for likes or shares or anything like that. But if you want, if you like the video, thumbs up, share it. Again, you have my permission to share it wherever. I don't care. Uh, yeah, I'll get into more stuff like that during the, the, the giveaway video. Um, but thank you. Thank you. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Uh, but I'll be back. Don't you worry. Peace, love, be good to each other.